Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I've spent the last few minutes trying to figure out a good camera angle for this video. So cross my fingers that it stays like this. Anyways, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing my very first Q&A. I've literally had this channel for almost four years. I don't know why I haven't done a Q&A, but I'm super excited to do that today. I got my coffee right here and I made myself eat a DIY iced brown sugar shaken espresso. So yeah. It's literally just like the dregs of my coffee, but it's fine. Also, guys, if you're watching this video right now, make sure to go drink some water. <sighs> All right, so first, we're going to go over some basics. So some people are warning my age. I'm 16 years old. I'm going to be 17 on August 25th. My favorite color is blue. Honestly, like the blue of my shirt. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a very, very light blue. I'm in high school. I'm a junior in high school, about to be a senior. So the first question I'm going to answer is, I feel like one a lot of you guys are wondering is, why was I not super active on YouTube or Instagram? And the reason is very simple. It's because of school. Last year, I took Britlet Honors, um, A Push, and Human Physiology. And Human Physiology is kind of like a specialized course. So there was a lot of writing in that. There was a lot of writing in A Push. There was a lot of writing in English, of course. And just with those three classes, um, it just took up a lot of my time. And obviously, I have six classes in total. It left me very little time to do YouTube, which is like my passion. I love doing YouTube. Honestly, unpopular opinion, but I also enjoy doing school. So I didn't want to sacrifice the quality of my schoolwork just to produce better videos. And although like it's just it was just very hard for me, like, like I had multiple like mental breakdowns about like stopping my channel because I am such a perfectionist. Long story short, school is kind of the reason. And I'm hoping since next year I'm going to be a senior and I only have four classes, I'll have a lot more time for YouTube. Of course, every video I click on, that's like a Q&A. It's always, do you have a boyfriend, do you have a significant other, anything like that. And the answer to the question, do I have a boyfriend or significant other, etc. No, I do not have a boyfriend. My favorite Starbucks drink would probably have to be either the ice brown sugar shaken espresso, which at my Starbucks, like, they don't have. It's like they, like, ran out of it, which is weird. Apparently, they have, like, no oat milk, but I just, I don't know how Starbucks can't get more oat milk. Strawberry acai with lemonade. Um, those are pretty sweet, but you can get it, like, with less lemonade, like a splash lemonade or something like that. Passion iced tea with... No sweetener. That's really good, too. My battery's flashing. Uh-oh. Okay. Be ready. Next question is, like, how do I come up with, like, my ideas for my YouTube videos? So, that is an amazing question because I always struggle with that, and I hope I can help someone out if you guys also have a channel. So, if I'm trying to think of a new video idea, um, one thing I like to think of is just I just remind myself, like, what is my channel about? So, my channel is, like, a lifestyle channel with kind of a focus on, like, productivity and wellness. So, when I go and do, like, some research, the next step, um, I kind of keep that in mind. First thing I like to do is I literally go onto YouTube and I scroll on this little, like, gray bar area. And I'll click on, like, clothing because, like, that's something that I post on my channel. So, some things that are coming up are a summer glow up transformation. That's a good idea for my channel, at least. Or like a clothing haul or like deep cleaning my room like if you see a video that's like a huge summer haul don't make a video that's also called huge summer haul and copy the thumbnail and copy things that the person says because no that's not taking inspiration that's just straight up copying all right well I find these um, I want you guys to comment down below how you guys are doing today, how you're feeling, what the weather's like, something like that. Just comment something fun. So, my favorite piece of clothing that I own, that's like a really hard question. The athletic wear, I would definitely say my Lululemon Align leggings. They're just so comfortable. They go with so many things. If we're just talking about like regular clothing, I would probably say either I had these jeans from Brandy. I'll show you guys a picture right here. They, they're like carpenter jeans. They go with anything and everything. They're so, so cute. Did you guys get it? Literally, like, my leg is so sweaty. This, like, my phone got, like, stuck to my thigh. Anyways, it's like school, or, like, specifically, like, high school hard. I think it depends on A, um, what classes you're taking, obviously, and B, your, like, outlook on everything. So, let's say you're taking like five AP classes. Of course, that's going to make it a little more challenging. But if you have like a really good like outlook on it and like you really, really enjoy the classes and you're excited for that challenge, then I think it really wouldn't be that hard. If you take five AP classes and you feel like you're being forced to take them, then I feel like that will kind of present a challenge. 
it's kind of like what you make it like life is really just like what you make it you're usually pretty well prepared by your middle school teachers and definitely reach out to like counselors and like friends especially ones that are like older than you or like your parents even though it's been like a long time since they've like been in high school most likely they definitely have some tips for you so how did i get into youtube first i started watching videos like honestly like sims 4 videos which is so funny and very random then i kind of transitioned and started watching like american girl doll videos like a mix of like american girl doll videos and also like alicia marie miss remy ashton i was so obsessed with american girl at this point in like my life like 11 12 that i made a youtube channel it was so cringe it took me so long to learn how to make thumbnails to learn how to title my videos correctly to learn how to do like everything it was just like a struggle like i was just not good at it but it was definitely a learning experience and it really helped me it, like propelled me to start my own channel like when i started my own channel i knew how to make thumbnails i knew how to title videos i knew how to tag videos do descriptions so my favorite fast food place would probably have to be in and out i'm from california if you didn't know in and out is a huge thing here it's super cliche but it is very big um i love their fries, their burgers are really good. Their food is just delicious. Always get the fries extra crispy. They're just so much better that way. All right, my favorite workout is probably, well, at least right now, it's Pilates. For a while, it was doing the Peloton or like basically like exercise bike. Me and my mom always do Tasha Franken and it's so fun. It's a little tradition like every morning. My least favorite part about YouTube, okay, honestly just finding the time to do it. This is not like a conventional job. with like set hours, like you make your hours yourself, you're your own boss, which I enjoy because I definitely am self-disciplined I would say but it makes it hard when like your friends are like oh my gosh like let's go to the beach and I'm like oh I have to edit this video honestly a lot of times I'm just gonna be like no I'll, I'll just do it later and I get home at like 9 p.m. and I'm like exhausted I'm like oh, I'll just like edit my video later honestly and then I'm scrambling rushing to finish my video and it's just super stressful and I procrastinate Do I get much hate? Like online, I don't really receive much online hate, which I'm so grateful for because online like haters or whatever can be like so cruel because they're just sitting behind a screen. So story time. In ninth grade, people in my Spanish class, if you were in my Spanish class ninth grade, shout out to you. But my Spanish class was so fun, but like people would play my videos. And at that point in time, if my channel was pretty small, and I had an ASMR video that I had made. And people were playing it in class. And they're like, oh my gosh, like pages, ASMR, like LOL. And like ninth, ninth grade me, freshman year me was so like, mm, I was so insecure to be honest. So I did not take that well. Like now if people play my videos, I'm just gonna ASMR video, what have you. I'd be like, oh my gosh, like haha, -ha, like I wouldn't care. But me back then, my face turned beet red. I was super embarrassed. I would overhear from people that, like, other people were, like, making fun of my videos. And it bothered me back then, but now I'm just like, I don't give a crap. Like, okay, another question I get a lot is, like, how many siblings do I have? Do I have brothers or sisters? And the answer is no. I'm an only child. I don't know if you can tell that from my videos, but all my friends tell me that I'm the most only child they've ever met. Honestly, I can kind of feel that. I was watching some home movies the other day. In the home movie... It was like me and some of our family friends and there was like this treasure hunt thing. I pick up like the treasure box and I just like start walking away and I'm like that is an only child moment. Alright, my favorite game is probably Clue. <laughs> my friend Sophia is gonna laugh at this but it's just like so fun to play. I love like little board games like that. My favorite ice cream flavor, mm, okay. So I'm lactose intolerant. Baskin Robbins used to have this super amazing like cookie dough ice cream with almond milk and it was delicious but they discontinued it literally which is so rude. This place in Santa Cruz called Penny's Ice Cream and they have like a dark chocolate sorbet which is probably my favorite. The next question is like what's like your plan for like after high school? After high school I plan to attend a four-year university and I'm right now I'm looking at like schools in California, schools in Colorado, schools in Arizona, maybe some schools in Oregon or Washington. I don't know. I want to major in elementary education. I want to be a teacher. And recently I worked at a summer camp. I have a video about that coming up. It just made me realize like how much I wanted to be a teacher. Do I have any pets? So I have a dog named Cooper and Cooper is so cute. I love him with my whole heart. Here's a picture of him. He is a... 12 year old pug so he's pretty old 
but you know, he's still very active. All right, my favorite subject is probably English. I really enjoy English. I love writing, I love reading. I just love like thinking about things critically. Favorite book, I could talk about my favorite book for days, for hours, for weeks. If you guys want a video where I talk about my favorite books, please let me know, I could talk about that forever. During quarantine, I got back into reading. So yeah, The Summer of Broken Rules, amazing book. It's like a YA rom-com. Um, Summer I Turned Pretty, that's like a classic. Who Killed Zoe Spanos, I read that last summer, super good. I love Pride and Prejudice, I love Emma. I did Brit Lit last year, so I got to read both those books. Favorite animal, dolphin. How many piercings do I have? So I have doubles. Um, I never wear my doubles, but I have doubles. Favorite show, all-time favorite is probably like Friends. Comfort show is like Gilmore Girls. Also watching Selling Sunset. Watch next. I honestly have no idea what to watch next, so let me know down below what you guys are watching. Favorite holiday would probably have to be Christmas, honestly. When I was younger, my favorite was Halloween. I was obsessed with Halloween. I remember in June, I would start planning my costume. I was crazy. My eye color. That's actually a good question. Um, I think they're like bluish gray. There's like a rain of like yellow. I don't know if you can see. I don't really get my face that close because that's kind of scary. Wonderland by Taylor Swift. Frankenstein by Claire Rosencrantz. Slow Dances by Winnetica Boyne League. Or Super Rich Kids by Frank Ocean. Oh, the condensation, the condensation is dripping down my leg. Ugh.